What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Wait, hold on a minute. I can't see fucking shit out here. Turn some lights on. That'll work. What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're doing a video. What the fuck else would we be doing? A picture? <laughs> no, we're doing a video. Today we are comparing the Steel FS91R to the Echo 2620T, which means torque. Not the regular 2620. Not the 225 homeowner Echo that you fucking peon peasants have. <coughs> Calvin. I'm just kidding. Calm it down, buddy. I didn't mean it. Um, so we're comparing these, and I could just tell you right now in five seconds which one's better, and then y'all could go on about your day. But no, I'm gonna waste ten minutes of your time and make you watch this whole video just to find out what I can tell you in two seconds. All right, so let's get these motherfuckers out and uh, take a look at them. Just gently set them down over here. All right. Sit this one down. All right. Now let's get to comparing. Motherfuckers don't want to lay flat. <sighs> Oh, no! I scratched it! Son of a fucking bitch! I take such good care of my stuff, just, and now it's scratched? What the fuck? Oh my god. Ew. Fucking kidding me. I'll be back. Give me a minute. Alright, so let's uh, get on to it. So the steel, I bought this in February to start cutting yards with, and then used it, put a speed feed on it, took the guard off, ran this thing hard, really fucking hard, until about June of this year, till it started sputtering, shutting off, not running right, and just being a piece of fucking garbage. So I see the Echoes are 15% off, so I go up to the dealership, by this 2620T commercial echo in June. And it's been my main trimmer since then that I've been using, beating the fuck out of it as well. No guard, speed feed as well. And so then I take the steel to the dealership, figure it's just a quick tune up or something. And then they have it four months, four and a half months, maybe almost five. They call me yesterday and they tell me, keep in mind, I dropped this trimmer off running it was running when i dropped it off not running correctly but you could at least get it to start and run run for like a second somewhat so i drop it off four and a half months whatever goes by and then i get a call yesterday they tell me hey um this engine is bad something's short box crack or something they said some bullshit they said and they said yeah we can't fix it we're not gonna fix it um you, it, it's not covered either because you don't have the guard on just a bunch of bullshit so i'm like okay whatever this took you four and a half months to find out really so then i go up there to pick it up and i hop out of my truck with my motherfucking glock i run in that store piss the fuck off i say give me my fucking money bitch oh wait that that wasn't how it went my bad i was thinking about a bank i went to earlier um so i go in there i get the trimmer and then they have the audacity to charge me a large sum of money for nothing. So I, I pay the large sum of money. You know, we're talking we're talking six figures above to pick up the trimmer. And I get it back. Worse condition than I brought it in. Uh, I've even cleaned it some now. Had cracks here. And I done assembled it better now. But this was all popped out. Wasn't put back together right. Um... Didn't return it with the smoke screen in, which was in it when I brought it to them. So they lost my smoke screen, which is whatever, but that's stupid. 
and then it's not even properly assembled like this head will completely spin around so it's all fucked up in there i mean i'll have a hell of a time trying to fix this thing now and then you pull it. video cut off there but what i was saying is when you pull it it's like nothing's connected it's just everything inside here is ruined now because i'm sure they probably took a quick look at it slapped everything together without worrying about it because you're responsible they were probably hoping I'd buy a new trimmer or something, but no, I ain't doing that shit, son. So um, overall, now that was a bad experience with my steel trimmer. Could have just needed a simple tune-up. However, it's fucked now. There ain't no fucking chance in hell that this thing's ever going to run again. Unless you really completely take it apart now because they done fucked it up. Anyways, on to the Echo here. I bought the Echo, and it hasn't had a single issue since. These trimmers have both about the same amount of use and abuse at this point, comparing them, because that one was out of commission. Yeah, it's older, but it's been out of commission. So the Echo has caught up to the amount of abuse that one's had. So they've both been ran probably about the same, same amount of abuse, both left in the rain, thrown around, beat to fuck. Um, I'll go ahead and do a startup on the Echo. This one's normally three to four pulls cold, and if it's hot, then it'll crank first pull. Three pulls, been sitting in the cold. And this thing just echoes. That still, when it started having issues, it would not, it would not idle. It just cut off all the time. But this Echo has been good. I like the weight. I think it's balanced better than the Steel. It might be heavier on paper just by a little bit, I think. However, it does feel lighter weight because it's just balanced better. The Steel is like really heavy up here in the head. So in the head. So, um, which head? Um, yeah. So the Echo feels better. It cranks better, runs better. As far as power goes, that's obviously a more powerful engine. 28 cc this is like 25. But this is the T model with the gear reduction head, so it uh it cuts through grass no problem. It doesn't really fog down or anything. So as far as power goes, they're both great. About the same, maybe. I don't really. It's it's not a big enough difference to matter. Uh, design and stuff. This design right here, I think, looks better. It's just nicer the way the choke is, all that. It's just a nicer design. Um, all this stuff's out loose, but I mean it hasn't broke or anything, so. But this, the steel trimmer is a better looking trimmer, I think, and a better, like, design as far as the buttons and shit goes. Auto stop, nicer. Uh, triggers. Uh, I don't know. I'd say I think I might like the steel trigger better. Handles, echo handle, better. Echo handles better, steel triggers better. And the choke system's better on the steel auto stop, all that shit. And as far as durability goes, I did crack that gas tank from dropping it on the ground once. It's kind of open, exposed. Echo gas tank, I dropped this. It hasn't really had no problem. It seems to be a lot tougher, honestly. I don't think that would crack. Plus, it's got that cover on the bottom. So, durability, Echo definitely wins. Quality, Echo wins. Running Echo wins. I don't know. It's it's all about preference. Um, I prefer the Echo, especially because it's not a piece of fucking shit, and it runs. So yeah, go with whatever one you want, but just know when you're still fucks up, and about four months after owning it, um, make sure you put your guard back on so that way they warranty it. At least you know, just in case. But the Echo is definitely, I like it overall, much better. No issues with it. I like it. So pick whatever one you fucking want to buy. I don't give a flying fuck. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment. See you in the next one.
See you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next video! What are you still here for?